hello friends welcome back to this student blog in this video we will be working on generating and replacing SSL certificate for Horizon connection server so it is this is pretty simple but uh, we need to follow some steps so let's log into our connection server So, so let's log into connection server console first and see what is the error we are seeing. So in the dashboard we are able to see that uh, connection server is having an untrusted certificate. Uh, so whenever anybody trying to connect to the vConnect server, uh, uh, they will get a untrusted certificate uh, pop up most of the time. So to avoid that, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll, we'll create a certificate and assign it to the to the server. So before that, what I will do is uh, just no need to connect uh, like uh, disable the connection server, but before I uh, before we do it, I just want to stop it. So let's stop the connection server service. So it, it's on its way. So we'll go to uh, our. So let me show how to do this. So go to run MMC file add remove snap in certificate add. Uh, computer account finish click ok so here uh, this is the where we will be generating this uh, request so go to personal certificates and uh, you will be seeing the existing uh, certificate which is uh, issued by our vconnect server itself so what we need to do is before we generate uh, we need to rename the friendly name so I will make it vdm ogm so, so that we can identify the new server certificate later. So just right click on certificates, all task, request new certificate, uh, click next, uh, select the default uh, uh, certificate enrollment policy, click next and here uh, you are able to see the enrollment policies where we will select the connection server uh, policy. and. Uh, if you see here there is an warning so we need to provide some more details before we submit the uh, enrollment until you won't provide they won't take anything so here we need to go to common name and give the fqdn of, this, of the connection server that is uh, uh, vconnect.flc.com so that is the server name so if you want to validate just go to the command run command and uh, go to command prompt and write type host name so we connect is the host name so we have given full call for domain name and uh, in the alternative names uh, type that uh, you need to select the DNS and uh, I am what I'm doing is I'm giving the full uh, wildcard uh, full DNS name uh, so so that uh, whatever comes from that uh, dns will be accepted so star dot uh, flc dot com so and click add so this is done so if you go to general you need to give the friendly name that is uh, uh, I, what is that so it's here so we will we'll give it later i think it's adm or else we will change it so <coughs> description you can mention what uh, you want like uh, this is uh, vconnect server certi SSL certificate ok so extension you can ignore it and private key make sure that uh, it is uh, private key is mark, uh, like marked as uh, exportable 
uh, apart from that, uh, make sure that uh, this is a uh, uh, right certificates are already selected. You have multiple certificates are already uh, they will be popped up here. So signature, everything is done. Okay, and uh, you need to click enroll. So now click finish. So <coughs> so it's not ADM, it's VDM. We will rename it. <coughs> so it's VDM. Just click apply and okay. So now what happened is, uh, uh, so if, if you are able to see here, the this server, this certificate is issued by the server, self server like uh, we connect dot uh, fz dot com, and this is uh, issued by our certificate server. So and the certificate template used is like a connection server template. So we are good now. So now what we'll do is we'll close this one. No need to save it and we will go and start the connection server service as well as gateway service so to come up it will take few minutes so we will just wait just try to reload it So generally, <coughs> in generally uh, it should come up very quickly, but uh, my machine have very less resources. Maybe it's taking some time. So this is no issue for me. So <coughs> in worst case, we can reboot the server. So that will fix it. Okay, let me let's uh, try one more time. So <coughs> what I will do is uh, I will pass the video and uh, I don't want to waste your time. So let's wait. So I just pass the video and uh, it come up. So you are able to see that still we are able to see the certificate error. Uh, so what we can do is like actually we need to do a fully F FQDM, FQDM name. So let me copy this and uh, paste it here and put the fqdn of the server that is uh, vcu and vconnect.flc.com and uh, we don't see any certificate error now because uh, it's already applied so if you go to dashboard <coughs> So uh, previously we were able to see that uh, uh, there is an issue with connection server which is saying that SSL certificate is not uh, not uh, is uh, interested. So if you go to the connection server you are able to see the status as green which is a good sign. So my RDS servers are down so you obviously you will be able to see this uh, uh, red mark. So that is fine once I, I power on it will be like green. So the, the purpose of our this video is fulfilled and uh, we are able to see that uh, the health for the connection server is green. So thanks guys, thanks for watching this video and uh, please subscribe the uh, channel if, if anyone is new to, new to, first time seeing these videos. Thank you very much. Uh,
we'll we'll meet in our next video bye bye